Dear brothers and sisters, I greet you in the name of Jesus and Mother Mary. Today is the 3rd of September, the 5th day of the Novena, in preparation for the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Today's theme is the promise of a child to Saints Joachim and Anne. Let us begin this Novena in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Reflection According to the traditional account and legends information concerning the lives and names of Joachim and Anne is found in the second century, first gospel of James and the third century gospel of nativity of Mary. According to these non-canonical sources, Saint Anne was born in Bethlehem in Judea she married St. Joachim, and although they shared a wealthy and devout life at Nazareth, they eventually lamented their childlessness. Joachim reproached at the temple for his sterility, retreated into the countryside to pray, while Anne, grieved by his disappearance and by her barrenness, solemnly promised God that, if given a child, she would dedicate it to the Lord's service. Both received the vision of an angel who announced that Anne would conceive and bear a most wondrous child. The couple rejoiced at the birth of their daughter, whom Anne named Mary. When the child was three years old, Joachim and Anne, in fulfillment of her divine promise, brought Mary to the temple of Jerusalem, where they left her to be brought up. It was in the womb of St. Anne that Mary was immaculately conceived. From the first instant of her life, she was in a state of grace and free from all stain of original sin. The heroism and holiness of these people, however, is inferred from the whole family atmosphere around Mary in the scriptures. Whether we rely on the legends about Mary's childhood or make guesses from the, from the information in the Bible, we see in her a fulfillment of many generations of prayerful persons, herself steeped in the religious traditions of her people. The strong character of Mary in making decisions, her continuous practice of prayer, her devotion to the loss of her faith, her steadiness at moments of crisis, and her devotion to her relatives all indicate a close-knit loving family that looked forward to the next generation even while retaining the best of the past. Prayer. O Holy Mother, Saint Joachim and Saint Anne were delighted to love and care for ho so holy a child like you. You were born in a devout family and grew up in virtues of your parents and prepared yourself from your childhood for the mission of God. Help us, dear Mother, to imitate you in my life so that I may grow in the love of God and believe in the promises of God. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us celebrate with joy the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that she may intercede for us with our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. You are nativity, O Virgin Mother of God, was the herald of joy to the whole world. Since from you arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God, 
who destroying the curse bestowed the blessing and confounding death rewarded us with life everlasting amen the lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen mary our mother pray for us in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen